another testing video and today I am going to be testing out the brand new Revolution X Soph Extra Spice Palette and her brand new three lipsticks. I'm so excited for Sophie because she's been one of my really good friends now for about a year and I've seen her do her first collab and now obviously this is her second collab and this is called the Extra Spice Palette so it's got like a lot of reds, a lot of yellows, a lot of oranges and they are the exact colours that I love and like I said as well she's done three lipsticks which I have here they're all amazing I haven't tried any of this stuff I haven't looked at inside of the palette I've literally just undone the box because I had the plastic film around it and you know what packaging's like nowadays it takes forever to take off so today I am going to be putting the palette and the lipsticks to the test I already have all of my base makeup on and my eyebrows on and I do have highlight but because of how light the camera has gone you probably can't see it and I am going to be doing a bit of like a prom eyeshadow look today as I thought you know prom's coming up when this video is going up it's basically prom season so I thought you guys might be able to get a little bit of inspiration from this video if you do have a prom or a special occasion or if you're just curious about if you want to buy the Soap X Revolution palette what it's like and my opinion on it although I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it because I loved her first one so yeah I'm just gonna get started but I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the video we're gonna start off with the palette so this is the box it just says revolution sofex revolution extra spice now her first round of these palettes of the box was like a peachy color and then the writing was gold and now she's swapped them around which I really like and then you get kind of like a little overview of the colors you're gonna get on the box but really nice box I like that I like how it comes in a box and it's not just the palette and then here is the palette here like I said the last palette was like this color with the gold writing and now it's the gold color with the like nudish writing and it just says again basically the box is exactly what the palette looks like on the front which just says Sofex Revolution Extra Spice you get 18 ultra professional eyeshadows and then that's what the back looks like the packaging feels really nice quality it feels quite heavy as well I really like it and then when you open it oh my god how insane do all of those colors look they are are so beautiful look at that silver and that gold I'm just gonna take the plastic film off of it and what I really like as well is how the names are printed on to the actual palette I much prefer when palettes print the names on to the actual palette rather than just having the little plastic film because let's be real everybody chucks away the plastic film so I really really like that so as you can see you've got a varied range of colors and a varied range of shimmers and mattes as well you've got loads and loads of matte colors and you've also got the nice shimmer colors you've got the silver like a purple a green a gold but then you've got your matte burgundies and purples that's a really cerise red which is really nice and you've got two different orange shades two different brown shades a yellow shade this palette kind of has it all and you could do so many looks with it and then of course you've got a massive mirror here which is so so handy and i'm going to be able to do my eyeshadow with i really want to swatch this red color so i'm just going to grab it on my finger and it looks so pigmented and i'm just going to swatch it there oh my god that's such a nice red color like that's like a pure red which is really hard to find i also really want to swatch this dark purple color this color is called enchanted and i love purple colors wow that's really pretty as well those two colors actually go really nicely together and also this shade here which is mold wine if i just pop this this side this is kind of a mixture of both of those two colors together i don't really know what type of look i'm going to do today but i definitely want to use that mold wine color because that's a really really nice mixture of a kind of ready burgundy brown so like i said this is the overall palette i'm really excited to test this out and now we're just going to get basically straight on into doing my eyeshadow i'm so excited I've already prepped and primed my eyes because I'm trying to be prepared in this video so I can just focus on testing the palette for you guys. I just really, really like it. I'm so proud. I'm going to be using my Real Techniques eyeshadow brushes as these are the eyeshadow brushes that I use in every single video. I do wash them promise but they're just my favorite eyeshadow brushes so I've got this one here and I think I'm going to start off with a really kind of light transition shade just so I can blend everything together so I think I'm going to take a mixture of the shade cookie dough which is this one and then this shade which is running late and just lightly dab it in because I know these are very pigmented shadows and I think I'm going to go for kind of like a classic orangey ready brownie type of eye look today because those are my favorite type of looks that's really pigmented just for a transition shade because they're kind of the two lighter shades in the palette hence why i'm using them as these shades but they're so so pretty one thing i love about this palette as well is the names i love how she's called it like cookie dough cheesecake like sweet and sour like it's all food like if i had an eyeshadow palette that's literally what i do because i love food so i just love how she's channeled her inner food love because we both always talk about how much we love burgers and pizza and stuff so i love how she channeled that into her palette so like i said i think i'm gonna go for a bit of like a orangey purple 
purple look today so i'm gonna take the shade sweet and sour and i'm just gonna run this completely along my crease this looks really pigmented oh my god the colors are very solid as well they're not sparse at all they're really solid blocks of color i'm just gonna repeat the exact same on the other eye as well i can't get over how strongly pigmented this orange is because a lot of oranges i've used before are quite faint but this is like a like i said a pure block orange i think i'm gonna use the shade mold wine and i'm gonna pop this in my outer corner but this world wine shade goes really nice with this kind of orangey color it's more of like a purpley toned now i put it on my eyes rather than red toned but i do really like that and i'm just gonna pop that again on the outer corner on the other eye as well it doesn't really matter how messy it is on the outside as i am probably going to end up cutting it with some concealer because that honestly is what i always do what i want to make sure is you can still see the orange and i haven't completely covered it up now i'm going to go in with the shade enchanted which is this dark purple color that i swatched on my hand and i'm going to pop this right in the outer corner just to make it a little bit more smoky and a little bit more dark as i love smoky eyes that shade's really pigmented so you really don't need to put much on at all these colors don't just stick on your face once you put them on like they're really easy to blend some eyeshadows you put them on you try to blend it and it's just kind of like stuck in that one position whereas these it will really nicely blend kind of got this bit of like a sunset eye going on i really really like this i want to add some glitter and then i'm going to go in and add some brighter colors underneath so i think i'm going to go in with the shade la sun and dreams but first of all i need to just cut this using some concealer first so the color will look really pigmented when i put it on i just ran and got my concealer and i don't know if it's like the light making me really itchy but damn Oh my god my back i just got my collection concealer and i'm just gonna pop this on here i've showed you several times how i do this in videos before i'm just gonna do a half cut crease and you just pop the concealer on your eye i look up so it kind of creates that line for me and then i'll just grab my flat headed brush from real techniques and just blend it That concealer has cutted so nicely over these eyeshadows. This is the Collection Concealer. I don't think I've ever used this before. Try and do a cut crease, but I think I'm always gonna stick with this now. Maybe it's just the quality of the eyeshadows. Like, there's no fallout whatsoever. I've got my half cut crease going on, so I'm just gonna take my brush again. I'm just gonna blend this color onto it, just so it's kind of, you know, I'm looking a bit too harsh. I'm going to take my flat headed GWA brush and I'm going to start off with the shade Dreams and I'm just going to pop my brush in this. This is a really nice, very brown toned gold glitter. It's really pigmented. And again, no fallout whatsoever. This is kind of the perfect gold glitter shade because it's not too pigmented that it's like blinding you, but then it's like got the perfect amount of pigmentation that it's covered the concealer. That's such a pretty glitter colour. I don't know if you guys can see the difference but it's so so nice the glitter is just gliding on as well i think it's also partially down to this brush this brush is amazing for glitter that's cut that really nicely so now i'm going to go in with the shade la sun and this is a bit more of a you know when you've got the kind of greeny yellow toned gold like a pure gold that's what this is and i'm just going to pop a little bit of this on top of that and wow oh my god that's amazing this is like an iridescent gold it's definitely got like undertones of green from what i can see this is what it's looking like so far and i think that looks really really nice so now i'm gonna go in and blend some color underneath my eye and i think i'm gonna go in first of all with the shade 21 which is this cerise red color here i really like this i don't think i'm gonna put too much on my brush because it is very pigmented but i'm just gonna blend this underneath my eye just to give myself some more color it's kind of like mixed into the burgundy color it's not as red as i thought now i'm going to grab this shade vitamin c which is a matte yellow and i'm going to pop this in the inner corner underneath so this is going to go underneath the glitters and it's going to be like a matte yellow shade so it should complement it really nicely i do want to go in and make the outer corner even darker so i'm just going to go in with the shade cheesecake which is a really matte brown and we're just going to pop some of this in the outer corner as well you know when you just feel like it's not quite dark enough and you want to add some more color that's the crisis we're going through instead of popping this in the exact outer corner i've kind of popped it in the outer third so it kind of goes from the gold to the brown to the purple and then i'm just going to go in again with the shade sweet and sour i was going to say running late but sweet and sour and just run this along the top here to make the orange a lot more pigmented i feel like sometimes when you do a cut crease the color on top can kind of disappear so that's why i like to go back in with the color to make sure that it's still there 
and it hasn't really moved. And there you have my finished eyeshadow. I'm now going to go away. I'm going to do some eyeliner and I'm going to put some lashes on. For my eyeliner, I've got the Dior Vinyl Black Liner. And then for my lashes, I've got these Unicorn Lashes here, which I think will really complement the look as these get longer on the outside. And as this gets darker on the outside, I feel like this will look very, very nice. And then we can move on to doing the lipsticks, which I'm so excited for. My lashes are on, my eyeliner is on, and oh my God, literally. You know where you have those days where your lashes and eyeliner and I just do not go right was today. Today was the day I really needed them to go right considering that I was filming this testing video um, but the eyeliner just would not work with me today so we ended up with really big long winged liner but that's okay we're gonna go for the big dramatic look today. Now we're gonna test out these different lipsticks here so she's got three brand new lipsticks last time she did a highlighter palette and now she's done these so these retail at four pounds each and oh I forgot to mention that the palette retails at ten pounds so they are like the matte peachy packaging and then they've got the golden lid and again it says Sofex Revolution on it. This is in the shade Syrup and when you twist it up like this it's got her name engraved in the actual lipstick which I think is so cool. They're like a satiny finish so they're not matte and they're not like really liquidy which I really like. So that's the shade Syrup. This is the shade Fudge which is a bit more of a darker brown toned nude which I really like as well and then this is the shade Cake which is a little bit more of a ready toned like nudey colour. They're all three really nice nudes and for four pounds they look so expensive the fact that her name is engraved on them as well makes it look a lot more expensive which i really like so i am going to swatch all these on my hand i'm gonna have to swatch them on this hand because my other hand has got eyeshadow on this is the shade syrup i think it's gonna be such a pretty color it's like a well they're all nude but that's a really nice color this is the shade fudge which is a little bit more of a brownie nude it's a bit darker and this is the shade Cake, which I think is going to be my favourite because it's a bit more of a pinky toned nude, which I really like. Those are the three shades. Cake is definitely my favourite one, I'd say, as it is more of a pinky toned nude, which I really like. You've got three really nice nudes there, which just glided on my hand and they've just got this little shimmer undertone finish. So for my look today, I'm going to use the shade Cake, which is the more pinky toned nude. And I never wear like lipsticks like this. I always wear liquid lipstick, so I actually find it quite hard to put them on. That just glided on my lips. Oh my god it looks different on my lips than it does on my hand but then that's just because of my skin tone and i've got a little bit of a darker foundation on that's it on my bottom lip and as you can see it does look different to the color on my hand it looks more of a nudie color but that's like generally going to be one of my favorite lipsticks And that is the lipstick on my lips. I really, really like that. I think overall, her makeup looks amazing. I mean, I really like the looks that I've done, but you can also do so many looks with the different lipsticks and obviously the eyeshadows as well. Sorry, I'm blinding you. I think this look has come together really nicely. It's a very much like a sunset type of eye, which I really like. Obviously, lashes and liner didn't go great, but we're gonna ignore that today. There was a little bit of fallout when I was doing my eyeliner and lashes, but like nothing that you can't complain about. I literally just got this brush here and just swept it away and it was gone. It wasn't the type of fallout that set it into my foundation, it was just like little bits of glitter that I could sweep off. So it was really easily removable. But overall, I would 100% say to you guys, go and buy these lipsticks and these palettes because I think they're amazing. I think she's done so well and I will definitely be using them. Considering you can get all of them for £22, it's a bargain. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. Congratulations to Sophie for bringing out round two of her makeup. I think it's amazing and oh my god, I just love it. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please smash a huge thumbs up and I will see you very soon for a brand new video. Bye!